people said, here we are. We're here on Friday. Everyone's thinking about the weekend, but you do have some weather people need to know about as we do head into that weekend. Yeah, we're not done with the rain just yet, but the timing may work in our favor where most of this happens uh, during the evening and overnight hours and clears out in time that we do get a nice weekend. It's been nice to get the rain, but it has been a very gloomy stretch, so some sunshine returning will be nice. Now, before we get the rain, we've got some fog out there this morning for some of us. Dense fog advisory to the north and east. That does include here Delaware County, Ottawa County, Craig County, Nawada County, also into Labette County and Montgomery County in Kansas. We've had some patchy fog elsewhere across green country, but it's been a bit more widespread and dense the farther north and east you go. So do keep that in mind for those of you north and east or if you're traveling north and east this morning. As we roll through the rest of the day, clouds will thicken up and we will see a few isolated showers developing during the afternoon. Temperatures have been running very chilly for the time of year. We'll keep it cool again today. Low to maybe mid 60s at best this afternoon and our higher chance Chances of showers will come in later this evening, but by later this afternoon, a few isolated showers popping up here along and to the east of Highway 75. You get west of Highway 75 uh, by mid to late afternoon. Scattered showers beginning to roll on in. And then tonight, we'll see some of those higher chances, uh, especially to the south. But even in the metro, I think we've got a good opportunity to have some showers and some rain moving in. So the umbrellas will be a handy item for your Friday night plans. And again, the farther south you go, probably the higher odds of seeing that rain tonight a bit more isolated as you get up along the Oklahoma and Kansas line tonight. And then tomorrow morning, we're still kind of on the tail end of this system with a higher chance of rain southeast Oklahoma. The overall trend, though, will be for this to be moving out as we head through the morning hours tomorrow, and we should enjoy a nice afternoon to finish things out for your Saturday plans. Here's the view right now in South Tulsa. We've got some clouds out there, but some pockets of clearing, including Tulsa. Uh, we're getting a, a little bit of clearing right now, but a good start to the day in the metro. No problems at all with visibility. As you can see here on the Wade's RV weather camera network. If you're traveling south today, there will be a threat for severe storms with a large hail. The biggest concern from basically the Red River southward into parts of Texas. So if your plans take you to Dallas or Fort Worth today, that is something to keep in mind. I don't think we'll have to worry about severe weather in our areas. We're going to stay on the cooler side of this system. So as we go into the afternoon, low pressure is going to track its way here across North Texas. And again, the higher severe weather threat where the air is going to be a bit more humid and there's going to be a bit more instability here in the North Texas. For us, this front does move on through. Northerly winds will pick up this evening and we'll have some showers moving through as this low tracks to our south. So look for some of those rain chances tonight. And as we just talked about lingering into tomorrow morning and to the east and to the southeast, but that should be out of here as we go into tomorrow afternoon. Some sunshine begins to return and overall a nice finish to the day tomorrow with highs in the mid to upper 60s. A beautiful afternoon tomorrow, even though we may have some rain to start things out tomorrow morning. 70 on Sunday. We're back into the 60s with a slight chance of a shower on Monday. Mid 70s return next week and we're going to get you into next weekend coming up in the next half hour.